let's look at how to create a function with default values. So default parameters. So first of all, I'm going to create a function double and I'm going to calculate out the ending velocity after an object falls. So I'll call that uh, ending velocity, ending velocity, and I'm going to have a double height, so it falls from some height, and a double um, gravity. So you can modify the gravity and change it and make it stronger or weaker. Now let's go ahead and put in gravity in meters, so 9.8.8. .8. Zero six six five. All right. So if an object is falling from some height at nine point eight meters per second, then when it finally hits the ground, it'll have some velocity, and we're going to calculate out that ending velocity. So I'll have a double. So my result, and the result is going to be equal to my height times gravity times two and i want to take this all and i want to take the square root so i guess need to add a library so c math and then i can go ahead and take the result here and it's the square root of my previous result number and I can return this result all right so let's go ahead and check this out or run run some code so if I wanted to figure out the ending velocity and I'm gonna drop from let's say 15 meters which is quite a high actually so I'll do see out and I can then say ending velocity and 15 to for 15 meters and then I can go ahead and end my line here and print this out now if I'm falling from let's go ahead and say this is an earth Falling 15 meters on Earth. Ending velocity. So let's go ahead and now see what that displays. So I'll go ahead and run this. And it says that my if I'm falling 15 meters on Earth, my ending velocity is 17. So that would be meters per second. Now let's go ahead and change my gravity. So if I'm on the moon, I'm going to go ahead and actually copy that. And I will say falling 15 meters on the moon. The ending velocity would be the same same height, but I'm going to pass in an additional variable now because gravity is going to be 1.62. So I go ahead and run this now. And I can see that my velocity, if I fall 15 meters on the Earth, would be definitely faster than if I were to fall 15 meters on the moon. And these things should help you to figure out how to set default variable values in functions.